Football season is here, which means that Madden is on the horizon. For those of you thinking this might just be yet another Madden entry, well, you're probably right. But hey, you know and I know the real reason that we keep coming back for more every year is roster updates. So hit that like button as I break down everything to know about Madden 23 if you're interested so you can see if this might be the Madden for you. And spoiler alert, there are actually some decent changes this time around. So let's start with the plot. Face of the franchise is the main game mode players can expect to find something even close to a traditional plot like in other video games. But it's not usually the core focus of Madden. That being said, the premise is basically that you can take control of a customizable character and lead a team to the promised land of winning a coveted Super Bowl while cementing your legacy among the greatest players of all time. In the past, there might have been more of a, you know, traditional story, such as Madden 21, where you were competing for the QB spot with a high school teammate and your on-field endeavors weaved with the storyline of your friendly rivalry. In Madden 23, from a story perspective, not much has been said other than the story focusing on players taking their career to the next level and finding success after having their contract's team option expire. So what this means, rather than following your player from like the beginning of their high school or college career, you will start at a time when they have already earned a few stripes as a veteran. Now we're gonna break down what's different about the gameplay and the game modes. Madden 23's biggest change to the core gameplay is what EA is calling Field Sense. This is an overhaul to several of the game's on-field mechanics. New tackle animations and game logic have redressed the play-by-play -play nature of the sport. Punch-out fumbles and more team gang tackles intend to bring an extra level of oomph and aggression to the game something that EA refers to as the hit everything feature. But it's not just tackling though. Every part of the field is affected by field sense, such as improvements to DBs covering wideouts, pass rushers collapsing the pocket and getting to the QBs, and of course, better blocking in the trenches. Now obviously, like with any sports game, the players and you guys in the comments, you guys have the ultimate say on whether field sense is as sweeping or effective as it's touted to be time will tell. Me personally, I believe that a little less Ultimate Team and a lot more Franchise is the golden ticket for Madden to shake off the annual copycat allegations, and when they focus on some of these radical gameplay changes, sometimes they come off as a little gimmicky, such as last year's Dynamic Game Day or M Factors, which gave Madden a kind of sillier sporty version of basically Call of Duty killstreaks if you think about it. Despite my hesitation to consider Field Sense a true game changer, there are a lot of subtleties about the mechanic that will undoubtedly flesh themselves out once the game launches and gets into the player's hands. Field Sense also brings one of the more significant changes to your offense. Sports fans that have played MLB The Show might catch similarities to the gameplay as skill-based passing turns quarterback play into something more like fielding the ball in the show. With an active throw meter that determines accuracy, this added level of control in the passing game can help players make back shoulder catches and hit tight windows. To EA's credit, the larger Madden community seems to agree. Once you get the hang of it, there's no going back. So when it comes to core game modes, Madden has many of these core game modes that are kind of cleverly designed to push you into Ultimate Team, if we're being honest. But the game modes from past iterations of Madden do make their return, so you'll have head-to-head -head and exhibition matches. The aforementioned face of the franchise mode, Superstar KO, The Yard, and the much-anticipated fan-favorite franchise mode. Franchise mode has been a point of contention in the past several years, with Madden fans pleading for a significant overhaul, or even just a return to the franchise mode of the earlier Madden days that were full of different features absent in the more recent Madden iterations. Now, some good news is that this year's game will improve certain features like the scouting system and make for a more frantic free agency period. The biggest takeaways include that your scouting reports during a season will reveal more relevant information for each player. For example, instead of unlocking a QB's break tackle attribute, you are more likely to learn something like throw power or short accuracy. And there are more factors than money to consider in free agency now. Players will of course still get their payday, but they'll have other factors to juggle like the team's roster depth, the quality of the quarterback, or even if your team is in an income tax-free state. 
all of this now impacts a free agent's decision, which is kind of cool. Free agency bids are also revised, so you won't know if you're in the front of the pack for a player, which in past years would let you repeatedly tweak an offer until you suddenly saw your team leapfrog other offers in the free agency menu. Now this change should make the system a lot more fair to both rival CPU or human players. Now let's talk live service. And trust me, I know most of us are not Madden Ultimate Team or Mutt as we call it fans, but this wouldn't be a proper everything to know if we didn't address the changes to Mutt. And in Mutt, we've now got the Field Pass, which provides a clear path to progression, letting you know what you need to do next. Basically a battle pass. You can see the levels, rewards, and a bunch of objectives to completely let you make progress on every Field Pass. I say every, cause there will be multiple live service style seasons. Starting off with season one, there will be multiple Field Passes with the three primary types season, competitive, and ultimate team program specific passes. EA says that you can earn these rewards with no additional cost to access the field pass, but I'm not sure if that excludes certain types of field passes. Starting with seasonal, this field pass has 60 levels of rewards, ranging from coins, packs, uniforms, and a high overall player item. There won't be infinitely repeatable objectives, but EA will add more periodically. Season 1 is estimated to run for about 60 days. Competitive Pass will be available at launch and includes objectives for the comp modes like solo battles, head-to-head -head seasons, squad seasons, or Mutt champions. Rewards include the coins and packs which are usable in Mutt, and the comp pass will refresh twice a month, while solo battles and Mutt champions will reset weekly. Throughout the year, there will be program-specific field passes available. One of the launch programs called Headliners will introduce the first program-specific field pass, having its own rewards and objectives related to the program. Comp and program-specific passes will let you double dip with progress, as both of them will contribute towards your seasonal field pass. Multiplayer, naturally, is a core part of Madden. Every mode in the game, except for Face of the Franchise, incorporates multiplayer easily by letting you play on the couch or online with or against other players. It is the bread and butter of Madden, where players can expect to spend a significant majority of their time in the game. August is always Madden season, and this year's game continues the recent trend of spreading the release date out a bit depending on different variables. The global launch date for all platforms is August 19th, and is coming out for Xbox Series X and S, PS5, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. However, there are a few ways to play it sooner. If you have an EA Play or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you can access the game's trials as early as August 16th. You can purchase the pricier All Madden Edition if you don't have the subscriptions. If you're playing the trial, you'll have up to 10 hours of gameplay time with full access, the sole exception being stopgaps in face of the franchise mode if last year was any indication. Pre-orders are live right now with different editions. If you're not interested in Ultimate Team or the Early Access, then the Standard Edition will be the one for you, and it's more than enough. Standard Edition will run you $59.99 on last-gen consoles and $69.99 for current-gen. The All Madden Edition will run you a whopping 100 bucks, but comes with a lot of Madden points and player cards for Ultimate Team and Dual Entitlement if that's what you're looking for. We're going to have a lot of Madden coverage coming this month. I'm working personally on getting a live stream set up for you guys on day one, but be sure to keep an eye out for Mark Delaney's official Madden review after the game launches. If you're interested in franchise mode or you want to play Ultimate Team, but don't want to spend a dime, let me know. Based on your comments, I'll get more vids cooking for you catered to what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching.